Okay, good evening, everybody. It's 707. Welcome to the February 15th, 2022, um, Krista McAuliffe Intermediate School PTO uh, General Meeting. Uh, we're gonna have a real quick meeting. We're gonna bang things out, and then we're going to turn this over to Melissa and Samantha, who's going to speak about the uh, high school admission process. I know you don't really wanna talk to us, but you wanna know from the parents' point of view um, what's going on with uh, your eighth grade kids. So right away, I'm gonna attempt to share my agenda. You know, I, I always seem to not be able to do this. I have so many tabs open. I'm just not gonna even, I'm just gonna read the agenda. And, and take it from there. The first thing we want to do is uh, we want to do the treasurer's report. And uh, tonight, Yamin is going to do it. Yamin, can you share your screen? Yes, yes, I can share my screen. Let's try. Should I do this first? Yep, you're good. Yep, you okay. go. Let me see. Uh... Oh, actually, no, no, uh, I'll see. I actually never share my screen on Zoom. And do you see anything? Oh. Is it is my is it is it sharing? Oh. Is this my screen that you're sharing? That's my screen. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing. Can you see oh, it? Okay. Yes, I can see it. Wonderful. I'll, so oh, I'll just, uh, you speak okay. and I'll scroll. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, Melon is not available. So I'm just here to present the the uh, the work that she done. Um, so as of the beginning of balance, we have um, 85622 $626.97. As of the income for this month, we have a uh, 690 um, membership due and, and 3,555 um, from the snack shop. So totally, total income for this, um, for this month is uh, $4,245. We can scroll down for to see our expense. Um, most of the expenses are for purchase for the snack shacks and then and then there's one reimbursement for the uh, some for school improvement so we have a total of four thousand two hundred fifty eight and twenty cents for uh expense from the income and minus the expense we have a total balance of Eighty five thousand six hundred thirteen and seventy seven cents balance for this month. Great. Thank you so much. Fabulous job. So, Mr. Berman, uh, I just wanted to point out the one thing, which is the um, the uh, school improvement reimbursement. And that's a fun story behind that. Uh, and I just want you to talk about that safe that the school was probably built around and what you're doing with that project. Oh, oh, you mean that wasn't for the new granite for my personal bathroom? No, no, no. no? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Unless I'm, I'm sorry. getting one, unless I'm getting one, you're not getting one. I'm sorry. No, no, we, um, we're, we, we spent um, quite a bit of money this year on upgrading some of the areas in our school that that sorely needed it. Um, one of the areas was our uh, teacher center on the fourth floor, which is uh, receiving about $25,000 worth of new furniture. Um, th again, this is an area that has been really sorely, uh, sorely neglected and, and, and our teachers certainly deserve a, uh, a nice and professional place to, to work and, uh, and, and learn. And the other place is for uh, the administrative and clerical staff in room 203. Those are our wonderful school aides who are, uh, and, and, and other staff, including uh, our wonderful uh, parent coordinator, Mrs. Palumbo, who's joining us here tonight. Say hi, Carla. Um, 
Yeah, she is. And, um, and also our programmers, we're renovating that office space as well. We have uh, an additional school aid this year. So um, one of the things that we needed to do in order to facilitate all of this was remove a very large safe. Um, and nobody, nobody wanted this thing. Uh, well, we don't need it, um, for one thing. And nobody wanted it because of the difficulty in moving this thing. Uh, the, the, the fellas who actually wound up coming from uh, Dumbo uh, Movers uh, estimated it's weighted at about 700 pounds. Oh and uh, so it, there, was, there was quite an expense, uh, as you can see, of uh, almost $1,400 to, to remove this beast uh, of a thing and create the space that we needed to uh, really make a, a better work environment for, for our staff. So uh, unfortunately, that wasn't something that, that we were able to, to do uh, with, with any other way. I kind of had to use my credit card and put a deposit down. And uh, my wife is wondering what, what, what this particular, she thought I was moving out. She's like, what did I do? Um, I said, no, no, I'm, the movies aren't coming, don't worry. Um, because uh, she saw the bill on the credit card. But anyway, that's what that's all about. Thank so, you, Mr. Berman. Thank games, you. But, but, um, really, uh, uh, but really practical. We, we needed to get this move uh, in, in a safe way by a company who was licensed and insured. And uh, I didn't want any, any, anybody getting hurt or any damage to the school or the building or anything like that. It was really that, that big of a kind of a thing. So yeah. that's what that was all about. Thank you, Mr. Berman. And that, yeah, dovetail, sure. that kind of dovetails into two things. One is the importance of having a good working environment, because if you have a good working environment for our teachers and our staff, you attract better teachers and staff, right? So when we, when, when we interview, when we interview people that we replace people we want in our school, you know, they look around, they say, well, we spent money on our teachers, our staff. That's why we try to take care of them whenever that we can. PTO spends money on teacher appreciation because um, you want the best teachers who want to come here. The other thing is, well, um, and Mr. again, we, we, we put a lot of money into our facilities this yep. year. We put a lot of money into technology this year. Uh, we put three hundred eighty-five thousand dollars into air conditioning for the auditorium and the uh, cafeteria. That project is underway and starting. They've been coming in and doing measurements and 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 uh, and preparing. We received the microphones that I've been talking about. They just came in last Friday and we're pairing all the microphones up with the speaker systems and getting everything ready uh, to be uh, deployed into the classrooms. So we're really, really excited that, you know, we really had a windfall of, of cash this year for, for a whole lot of reasons that we've been talking about really since, since we got our budget. And, and really the goal was to, to really spend it in the most practical and productive way and ways that would provide the students and families and the community in the school the best possible investments for the future. And I'm really happy uh, with, with, I think how, with, with, I know how things are working out. And, uh, and I hope you are too. So I'll stop now because I, I, I don't want to take a lot of time because I know there's a lot yep. of high school stuff that we need to talk about. Right. So we're, we're kind of like we're kind of like doing tag team like we always do. Mr. Berman and I are a good team and we're kind of like going back and forth. This is kind of his principal report and my uh, PTO president's report all rolled into one. Uh, I'm muting myself now. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to tell him is that, you know, he very generously allowed us to run Snack Shack which we have a lot more money coming in. And because of that, some things that he would ordinarily have paid for out of his budget, because he has this money coming in, his fundraising money, you know, he's going to ask us to pay for down the road, um, specifically uh, buses for trips. And he has certain items where sometimes it's appropriate for it to be built into the, the price of the trip. And sometimes it's appropriate for us to kind of subsidize it. And whenever he asks us for anything, we're going to, of course, uh, approve it. Um, so let me go to, I'm going to request a, I'm going to request a motion. 
to waive reading of the minutes. Are the minutes up there on the screen? Does anybody see them? Someone give me a thumbs up, yes? So, yes. I, thank you. So, could I get a motion to waive the reading? I second that. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'll let everyone take a look at it. And if there are any questions, uh, we'll unmute everybody and we'll go forward. Thank you for that thumbs up in the chat. Appreciate it. Jason does very thorough minutes. So when the minutes, they mentioned photo retake day, that was today. I think that went well. We, are, we have a tentative date for the uh, June senior dance. If it happens, is June 8th, Wednesday evening. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve. Thank you. Any objections? Put it in the chat. No objections. Wonderful. Minutes are approved. Done. Okay, so I just have one announcement and um, that's from Ms. Gasser asked me to uh, tell everyone that we are proceeding with our Parent Academy project that's uh, sponsored by the PTO. And look out next week, we're gonna send out an email um, for a logo contest for the new Parent Academy. The Parent Academy, the purpose of that is to try to get parents to become more involved. That's one of our goals for this year, the rest of this year and for next year to have um, more parent involvement, especially coming back from COVID and in-person stuff. And we're going to try to make 187 um, a real community school in the sense that we want to have all of our families look to us as we are just the center of their children's lives and we want to bring in our families to do that as well. So let me open up the chat. Can someone do the chat? And is there any questions for me or Mr. Berman? Mr. Berman, do you want to add anything real quick or are you good? I'm good, Mr. LaBella, unless folks have any yep. questions, I'm happy to answer. So any, anybody have anything in the chat for either of us? I do not see it. I do not see. It. We have 37 people. I'm sure they're all waiting for uh, Melissa. So I'm going to make a motion to adjourn and then introduce Melissa and Samantha to do their presentation. Can I get a second? Vito, is it okay just to make one quick gala oh, announcement? Yes. Absolutely. Should have jumped right in. Thank you very much. Please, Manal, go ahead. Yeah, just very quick. And I know everyone is very anxious to hear about high school, which is way more important than the gala. But um, I just wanted to say hi, everyone, and let you all know that we have a great committee uh, together for the gala, and it's turning into a beautiful event so far. I met with the person at Diker Golf Course last week, and um, we're really planning for a wonderful event. We really want to have as many teachers and staff at the event as possible with our parents and um, just letting everyone know that by next week, well, next week is off, but hopefully by the end of the week, we'll, we will have information out to our families to solicit donations. And if anyone knows businesses that are interested in giving us donations, please have them direct um, any inquiries to me and all of it is tax deductible and we'll be sure to get that information over to everyone as well. So um, thank you so much and have a great night, everyone. What's the date again, Manal? The date is May 6th, Friday at 7 p.m. And we have the uh, event hall till midnight. And nice. um, it's going to be really great. I can promise you that. <laughs>
I'm, I'm so looking forward to get back and seeing everyone and having a great in-person night. That's going to be so fun. Okay, great. Thank you. Can I get a motion to adjourn and then we'll get the high school presentation going? Second that motion. Thank you, sir. No objections. So we are done the meeting. Jason, you're off the hook. We're good. It's 723.